Today I'm out in Fort Lauderdale Beach at a place called Anchored Cannabis to help them with their water situation. I'm gonna start by digging a hole right here because there's the valve manifold and I imagine the one inch pipe runs right along here. And I'm gonna take advantage of this concrete bullard right here and put the backflow right behind it so that it's protected and cars can't hit it. And I'm told by the guys here at Anchored Cannabis, they watch them install this and the pipe does come out to the edge of the sidewalk and that the city told them to tell me that I need to fix it, which is what I'm here for. So we're gonna go ahead and dig that up and see what we see. Let's hope that they're right and there's just a pipe sitting right there because if there is, then I'm just gonna connect the pipe right from there to the one that's going behind that sign right there and we're done. I just hope mother nature doesn't stop me from what I'm trying to do today because it's dark, like all the way around me. It's gonna happen. It definitely rained out here. One of the benefits of it raining is that it cleans up the pipes for me. That one inch pipe on the bottom is the one that I need to get to. I'm gonna come out with that one inch pipe to the front of this bullard. I'm also gonna dig it up on the other end to install the backflow right there. There you have it. It's all cleaned out and we're ready to install the new backflow. Before we can do that, we need to cut the main line pipe. Actually, before we can do that, we need to turn the water off, which we already did. That's why my key is right here. Now that the water is off and we depressurize the system, we can walk over here with our cable saw. You can get one of these at the sprinklersupplystore.com and cut the pipe on the bottom. The reason why we wanna use the cable saw instead of a reciprocating saw is because I don't wanna cause more damage here than I need to. And these two pipes on this end are a little closer together than they are on this end. So I'm gonna use my cable saw to use kinetic energy to cut through the plastic pipe so that I don't damage the other pipe. Then I'm gonna build this out through here and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Oh no, she's naked. Hold on, let me get her dressed first. That's better. Now she has some clothes on. The next order of business is going to be going down here to where the meter is. All right, so this is where we're at. There's our meter. Here's the line coming in from it. It's actually a galvanized pipe just below that elbow there. Comes out of that elbow. There's a band clamp of some sort and then the inch and a quarter pipe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cap the inch and a quarter pipe right after I elbow it this direction, and then I'm gonna turn on this meter. I wanna make sure that nothing's going to leak in between my cap and the galvanized pipe. As long as everything checks out, then I'll continue the repair to connect it to the main line that's likely sitting right there. If it doesn't check out, well then I'll have to redo all of this. Wish me luck. All right, well I figured out why they put that saddle there. Here it is. What saddle they kind of made out of looks like a coupling or something but they put it here because there was a crack here and the reason why I think there's a crack here this is a wood post and right below it is concrete I'm willing to bet that there was a for sale sign or something right here in front of the property and they might have broke the pipe when they did that and then they'd use that saddle to put it back together so we're gonna have to do a little bit more digging here to get down to the galvanized fitting where it goes from galvanized to PVC so we can screw in a new nipple or male adapter or something, come back up and then we'll plumb it in to the one inch line that's right over here that's going to our backflow down there. It's currently pouring down raining, but I got an umbrella, so we're gonna keep it moving. Despite the rain and the flooding conditions, we got it done. The old water connection is right here. This was supplying the irrigation system from that meter over there, which was billing the customer for the water going out, even though it was going into the, uh, the landscaping. Now we're connected to the correct meter, which is the irrigation meter, and it's running to the brand new backflow down there. We're all done. Rain or shine, we'll still get it done. That's done. On to the next one. 